The Asphalt Concrete Density Gauge, PAB, is designed for operational density measurement and the homogeneity control of asphalt concrete surfacing from 25 to 150 millimeters thick. The principal users of the instrument are road building companies and road operation services. With the help of this instrument, the users are enabled to 1. Evaluate the degree of compaction of road pavement sections where a road concrete mix of the same composition was used. 2. Quickly detect non-compacted spots. 3. Monitor critical zones, joints, edges. 4. Objectively select places to cut out samples for road acceptance testing. Before starting measurements, switch the instrument on and set the operating mode or check the previous one. In the main menu item, Material, select a specific type of material. The instrument is supplied with the basic gauging settings based on materials from Chelyabinsk asphalt concrete plants. To ensure the higher accuracy of the instrument, it is required to carry out its calibration on specific types and compositions of the asphalt concrete mix. In the main menu item, Parameters, select the measurable parameter, dimension, and measurement mode, single shot or averaging. To set the thickness of the measured layer, switch the instrument to measurement mode with the M key. Information on the layer thickness, which can be changed from 10 to 100 millimeters, will show up in the right upper corner. At the same time, the instrument sensitivity will automatically change when the thickness value exceeds 25 millimeters. To make measurements, choose a smooth, dry asphalt surface without obvious impurities – soil, stone screening dust, stains of petroleum, oil and lubricants. The surface should be free from humps and dents, and the instrument should be in a steady position, without shaking, firmly bearing against the surface. Perform the zero-point adjustment. Take the instrument by the handle with one hand and hold it at least 20 centimeters from the body and foreign objects to avoid unwanted external interference. 1. Press the arrow down key and the value will be set to zero. 2. Press the F key and place the instrument on the spot to be measured. Press the M key and make one step aside from the instrument. It will automatically switch to measurement mode. The display will show measurement. The measurement will stop in 3 to 5 seconds and the display will show the density value in the measurement point, which will be automatically registered in the instrument's memory under a corresponding sequence number. Prior to making a new measurement, relocate the instrument to another controlled point. Clear the screen for the next measurement by pressing the up or down key. Press the M key and step aside. In the single shot mode, the instrument is used for express density evaluation at different points in the coating. If the averaging mode is selected, rotate the instrument by 120 or 90 degrees, depending on the number of measurements in a single series. For correction computation, the point-by-point -point calibration technique is applied to the basic gauging setting for a specific type and composition of the asphalt concrete mix. For this purpose, select a dry and clean road section about 3 meters long and 1.5 meters wide. Divide it into 5 sections, marking them with a piece of chalk. With such a measuring technique, use the averaging mode of the instrument. In the main menu item, Parameters, sub-menu Measurement Mode, select Averaging. Press the F key and set the number of measurements in a single series from 3 to 5. 
Perform the zero point adjustment. Make five measurements in the first section. The first measurement should be made with the section center orientation. Orienting by the chalked circle, shift the instrument's center 7 to 9 centimeters diagonally to the 2 o'clock position and perform a density measurement. Then, make consequent measurements moving the instrument to the 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock positions. The display will show an average density value in section 1. Similarly, make measurements in road sections 2, 3, 4 and 5. Take cutout or core samples, orienting by the center of each marked section, and perform standard laboratory tests. Calculate the average density value for five road sections and the average density value for five cutouts, cores, and find the difference between the obtained average density values. Using this difference and considering the sign, calculate a new coefficient, a zero new, for a given material. Based on the calibration results, put the new value, a zero new, instead of the set coefficient, a zero, in the selected menu, Asphalt 2. If the maximum density for a given asphalt concrete mix is known, the instrument is able to calculate the compaction fractor of the surfacing. In the Measured Parameter menu, select the Compaction Factor measurement mode and set the maximum density for a given asphalt concrete mix. Perform the zero point adjustment. Place the instrument on the asphalt concrete section to be measured and press the M key. Press the M key again and step aside. The display will show measurement. In 3 to 5 seconds, the measurement will stop and the result will be displayed and automatically stored in the instrument's memory. The measuring range for the compaction factor is 0.8 to 1.1. All measurement results can be viewed directly in the instrument or transferred to a computer using a service program. This will allow for saving the results of a specific measurement, printing them out, or exporting them to Excel.